have the Genmitsu Wi-Fi card and controller kit that I'm going to unbox and see what's in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install. So first off is the Wi-Fi controller. This was sent with the 4040 because the controller board in the 4040 does not work with the Wi-Fi controller without it. So I was very glad to see that they sent extra screws and washers because when I took this apart earlier to install another board, because my board had gone out, I forgot the screws were sitting there and then they got et by the vacuum. So we also have the instruction booklet. An extra cable. And then the controller board. And it looks like it is wrapped in anti-static plastic. Okay. For the Wi-Fi controller, we have cables different types of cables, a screw, a small instruction booklet, and then the Wi-Fi controller. I also have here is a fan that I got separately almost a year ago because the fan that came with my 4040 was actually squeaking really bad. So they sent me a new fan and I just haven't gotten to it. So it just drives me crazy. It still runs, but it squeaks, drives me crazy. And I've just left it. It squeaks off and on. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. And then I have my iFixit case that I will be using because I work on computers and stuff. So this is an awesome kit to have if you're opening up computers all the time. Okay, I'm going to start off by unplugging everything. Plug the power and the USB cable. I should follow the instructions, right? Okay. So let's take the screws out. These are just your regular Phillips head screws. Now there are two screws underneath here that you will have to be able to access. Um, I would have to usually move my CNC over to the edge so I can access them. But since I lost the other screw and I knew I was gonna have to get into here, I did not put those screws back in. I just did the ones on the top. So those are already done. Go ahead and take the fan off. Cause that will be coming out too. Okay, so it says to unplug the DC power and the fan. So the whole case comes off. So I'm gonna unscrew these four here that are holding the main board on to the back plate. What I didn't do was take this out to unplug this. Did it tell me to unplug that? And I missed it. It did. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. And it falls out. Um, I heard there should be another screw in here, but I must not have put it back in the last time I took it out. I think I stripped it actually, if I remember correctly, and I didn't put it back in. Maybe I have an extra screw this time. Maybe, I think I do. Cool. Well, I'm checking to see if they actually have instructions on unplugging everything, but they do not. There are no instructions in here on unplugging, so that's fine. I'm gonna lay this carefully down. 
like these are all labeled so you want to just carefully rock back and forth pull these out so all the all these that are you get this one on the other side there we go all these that are connected you want to just carefully rock back and forth hold on to all the wires if you can grab onto the white that's better and then rock back and forth until they come out actually if you're gentle pulling on the wires is okay but you need to be gentle you don't want to pull the wires out but in 20 years I have yet to do that just got to be gentle And they're all labeled under here so you'll be able to put them back in where they go and now it's loose and you can keep your main board for another time i do not have real scissors out here so shears it is want to try and hold your main board by the sides as much as possible oil from your hands and everything everywhere is not always good I also like to make sure I touch metal every once in a while make sure I don't have a anti-static wristband but make sure that I'm not an electrocute my board Okay, so now we have the connection here for the Wi-Fi module. I'm just going to go through this way this time. I think that will be there. Yeah. Okay, so these go on the bottom. I'm going to take this here and connect it into the... The directions say the red goes to the to the left of the board. So you should see the silver connectors out and the red towards the connectors, the USB connectors. Okay, first we'll need to plug all these back in. Here we have Y, goes here, and then E stop goes next. Slide it in. There's some screws. 
screws and whatnot in the way right there. Where the mounting screws are it's in the way. slides right in. All the wire should be tucked into here in the corner. Take the mounting screws and put them back in. is right here on the edge. It goes this way. just in case the other one goes out. It does work, it's just annoying to listen to. Yeah. Well, considering being in a garage shop, it's actually not too dirty. around to the side because it's actually hooked in through the back so I don't want it to get stuck in there. Okay. So first I'm gonna hook this in. Get here. This is the part that you pray that it all turns on. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Move some of this out of the way. 